Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to the class. Uh, now let's stop learning. For when we stop learning, we stop growing. Let's not break the process of learning. We'll start with our chapter, Chemical Kinetics today. Chemical Kinetics, as we know the word Kinetics, it means the rate of reaction. You all are familiar with the word Kinetics, that is a kinetic energy which relates to the speed or a motion. In this, in chemistry, Chemical kinetics is related to the rate of reaction. So it is a branch of chemistry which deals with the rate of reaction. Depending upon the rate, it can be defined either in the slow reactions or the fast reactions. Slow reactions like carbon, one of its allotrope diamond is getting converted to graphite. As we have studied in class 11th, the conversion of diamond to graphite is a spontaneous reaction but it will take millions of years so it can be defined as a slow reaction on the other hand we have the fast reactions also fast reaction involves the combustion of LPG gas or the reaction between acid or base now these are the two reactions slow and fast let us assume a hypothetical reaction A to B what we know about the reactant and product is their concentration when we talk about a reactant or a product, we say the concentration is changed. So rate can be defined as a change in concentration of reactant or product with respect to time. Now let's just see by the graphical method how the rate is dependent on the concentration. Now here I have drawn the graph of both reactant and on the other side that is of product. For reactant, I have plotted a graph between the concentration of reactant with respect to time. With respect to time, at the start of a reaction, at the very start of a reaction, the reaction has started at time zero. At time zero, the concentration of reactant is at its maximum value. As you can see, this point, it shows the maximum value of the reactant concentration. With the increase in time, with the course of reaction, the graph shows the decrease in the concentration of reactant. Now taking the two values C1 and C2 at time T1 and T2 we have calculated the average rate which is given by C2 minus C1 upon T2 minus T1. This minus sign this minus sign indicates the decrease in the concentration. What does it indicate? It indicates the decrease in concentration of reactant. Now on the other hand when we see for the product what we have obtained, what we have observed is graph started from zero. It is but obvious that at time zero the concentration of product is also zero. With the course of reaction the concentration of product start to increase and it will obtain a saturation state after a particular time. Now the average rate will be C2 minus C1 upon D2 minus T1. Okay. Now in both of the graph what you have seen I have marked a tangent on the curve this tangent cuts the curve at a particular point. This particular point gives me the value of instantaneous rate which is quite effective because for the average rate I can take any of the value it is going to give me the average result but instantaneous rate is going to give me the most effective and the accurate value of rate. So rate will be minus dA by dt for reactant minus d plus dB by dt for product minus minus shows the decrease in concentration and plus shows the increase in concentration. So rate can be defined as a decrease in concentration of reactant with respect to time or increase in concentration of product with respect to time. Now from this we can derive the unit of rate. Rate can be defined as concentration upon time, concentration, molarity, so mole per liter per second that is mole liter inverse second inverse. Okay.